such an impressive win over Chicago State this past week, but uh, I would say probably something that you guys, I would expect a, a win like that from you guys, but what, it, what was it like to see that out of your players? Well, we were due to score some goals, you know, and, and it, was, it, was, it was good to be able to score so many different kinds of goals to kind of, uh, you know, provide that sense of satisfaction to the team and what they what they can accomplish when they when they just kind of as they put the ball in ball in play and and um, and get shots on and their opportunities on frame. And then you have a a good road trip this week. Um, how do you try to prepare the players for a couple games on the road? That'd be two two tough games. I mean, both both places are usually very tough to play, especially uh, SFA and Sam Houston. But uh, but again, you know, it's just trying to, to us to be able to take you know our confidence and you know what we're trying to do there, and um, and see what, if we can you know try to impose our will the best way we can um, you know go Friday and Sunday. And uh, you know, in certain, we we talked about the the large home stand that you guys had over the past month or so. You know, how important was it to you towards the last stretch of it to get a couple of big wins at home to kind of potentially pick up some momentum before you guys hit the road? It was real big. Um, you know, like I said, playing at home is always great. You have that comfort. But again, just being able to, to go out there and, and, um, and shine like that was, was important for us. And, you know, again, like, um, you know, we've, we've had the opportunities all year long. And just being able to put them in the net was, was satisfying. And like I said, it just, it's just about the right time, hopefully, that we can start having the confidence to keep putting more balls in the net. How do you feel about the growth over the course of that five weeks at home when you started with some of the non-conference once a week, then you get the two big wins and a tie uh, in the conference schedule. How do you feel about the growth over those five weeks at, at home? No, it's been good. I mean, the growth started, you know, it, it was, it's just kind of been, it was kind of slow moving throughout the, you know, training camp into there, you know, we, we had the ideas and then we had to tweak some things, move some people around and hope, you know, like I said, hopefully in the, in the future that, you know, things don't take as long to gel, but it was nice to see us uh, develop and, and find our confidence over the course of that homestand, but it, which was, which is very important it, about just about the right timing as we're three games in the conference right now. Actually, can I kind of bounce off that for a second? In terms of, you know, how important is it to you to have a group of players that are flexible, that you know you can make tweaks if you need to be able to move a player here or there, you know, and to be able to make adjustments knowing that, you know, things might not have been going the way that you wanted to early on? Well, we've had, you know, a lot of the – we have a lot of veterans on our team, so they have been used to um, adjusting over the years. So it, so it hasn't been terrible as far as trying to get them to do it. Um, you know, sometimes when, when there's less time to think about it, when we do it on the fly, sometimes that they're usually better on that end is sometimes if you, if you, we sit there and we overthink on things, but, um, but like I said, this group's pretty good at adjusting. And then the players right now have, have already gotten a crash course on, on mixing things up. So it'll be good for our future players as well. You have a lot of veterans who have stepped up and done a lot of good things, but you also have really good in particular freshman class. You've got some good underclassmen too. In particular, the freshmen, uh, you see people like Chase Thorne and Taylor Den scoring goals and making plays. How would you assess the, the, the young group over the course of the season so far? No, it's been good. You know, sometimes when you, you come in as a freshman, you don't have the, the baggage or the cobwebs to kind of go back on. So sometimes you get in there and you get after it. And, uh, and I think that's where, you know, Chase kind of came in and, and did, did her thing, scoring a couple goals, getting a couple assists. Same thing with Taylor. You know, Taylor's Taylor came in right away as a freshman and was was an impact player right right out of the gate, and uh, and also Grace Ornalis has done a great job of stepping in and having a lot of minutes in the midfield, but you know there there's still a few more that that are doing well, but but again it's it's nice to have as many freshmen as we have making an impact right away. Is there anything in particular you really want your team to focus in on heading into this two three road trip? Well, I mean number one is, is take one game at a time. But just also knowing, you know, what we're up against, you know, we wanna we wanna be aggressive when we wanna we wanna make sure that we we play what we you know impose our will on on uh, on Friday night. But we also know that SFA has got a very talented team as well, you know, and and just being able to eliminate any any situations where we give them opportunities is is mainly what we're focused on. Thanks, Coach. Uh, heading on to this road trip, you know, you come off a great one against. State, you're about to face an SFA and Sam Houston, some pretty tough programs. How's the team feeling when they face against these talented programs? 
Well, I I'm, I don't think that, you know, I know that this past weekend we, we got an opportunity to score some goals, but, you know, most of the schedule we've had this year has been tough. I mean, there, I mean, we, there hasn't been a single game that hasn't been been a, been a battle to, to, to win, if, you know, because every game, you know, we either came, come from behind or we've – it's been a close margin. So, yes, uh, they, they know who we're getting into, especially since we played SFA, you know, twice last year. We played uh, Sam Houston twice last year, so yeah, we're very familiar with what we're getting into this weekend, and and I think they're I think they're definitely ready. Your defense this weekend, uh, obviously, it's been good almost all season long. Uh, on that end, even though when you have a sophomore in goal, that back line is so veteran heavy. Um, how important will they be again this weekend, and how how do you feel your defense has played so far? No, we're, we're very happy with them. You know, they, they play an integral part of building out of the back. So, you know, just as, um, as it is important for them to defend in front of the goal, it also their distribution is key as well. Because, you know, uh, if they, you know, if they give the ball away, you know, in front of the goal there, it creates an opportunity for the other team. But, but I think that they, they're also very um, offensive minded as well, as far as what they want to do and what they can assess. And, you know, we've been rotating about Right now, we, we're trying to rotate more players in the back line to give them some. We've, you know, we got some more players like Sammy Brown and Faith husband in there last weekend, along with you know Macy Ellen and, and uh, Hannah. So again, we're trying to make sure we have the, you know the, some experienced depth, and they've been getting a lot of good reps over the last couple of weeks. So we're we're happy with our depth going into the weekend and the rest of the season as well. I don't know if we'll get to talk to you next week before you go to Chicago. So I just want to know what's uh, what's the only itinerary for a road trip to Chicago. Like, no offense to like Conway, Arkansas, but that's a pretty a cooler road trip than you typically get. No, we haven't we haven't flown. <laughs> I mean, we haven't flown as a program since 2011. So that'll be a be a landmark occasion for us. But yeah, it's going to be sort of a quick turnaround. We're going to get out there. We'll be in Chicago. We'll be able to. To look around a little bit but it's more of a business trip but it'll be fun for them to experience something new especially going to a place like chicago which is an awesome city and uh, for them to experience that it'd be awesome some deep dish pizza maybe yeah that or yeah most likely that'd probably be the the go-to especially uh, for a soccer team the night before the game <laughs>